All right, so welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, guys, I'll be doing my Europa Conference League qualifying rounds predictions. And yeah, guys, I'm a bit late with this. I realized that there were some fixtures that already have taken place today, guys, and I didn't even know about it. So I'm, I do apologize. I looked at the dates and saw July 8th for most of the fixtures, and I realized that there were three fixtures that actually happened today. Um, and yeah, I do apologize for that. So let me go ahead and explain how this all works. And then we're going to go ahead and get started. So basically, obviously the qualifying rounds, we have three qualify, we have four qualifying rounds, the first qualifying round, second qualifying round, third qualifying round playoffs. You can see right the dates already there and each game, every club will basically play home and away. Okay. And then basically for the first qualifying round, basically all the teams, um, we will basically play against each other. And the winners of these ties will go to the main pass second qualifying round. And the losers will be eliminated. So that means like any team that loses it in this, they're out. They're out of Europe in the entirety. And so basically the team is to go on to the main pass second qualifying round. You can see right, guys, this is the main pass second qualifying round. And then the champions path is for the losers of the Champions League. The teams that lost in the Champions League um um, the teams that basically lost the Champions League qualifying rounds basically go into the Champions one, and they're going to basically play in the main path. Basically, the winners of those go on to the third qualifying round, and then they basically go into the main path. And then basically, the winners of that goes into the playoff round. And once again, they go into the main path. So basically, the main path is basically for the the teams that are, um, won. The teams that basically got into the Euro uh, Europa Conference League, whereas the teams that dropped out of the Champions League to the uh, conf Conference League basically go to the Champions path, okay? So you can see, right, there's a very lot. It's a very complicated. You can see, right, guys, the winner of match. You can see all the CD. I'm not going to get too much into that. Um, you guys could read that on your own. I'll probably put a link down below in the description below for that. Um, but basically, that's how it works, guys, in the sense that basically there's, like, two different paths, main path and Champions path. Champions path is, believe is the teams that lost and the, the teams that were eliminated from the Champions League drop down to the Europa Conference League and the teams that go on to win their respective fixtures go on to the main path, okay? So it's a very complicated process, a very, very tricky to understand, but hope you guys understand. I hope you guys understand from what I said. So we have a lot of games for today, guys. We have 33 games and some games have already taken place. So I'm going to try my best to not use that result to my advantage. Obviously, there'll be a few games that I have to do that, but... You know, it is what it is. So, like I said before, guys, because there are 33 games I have to predict, I'm not going to go spend too much time into the, giving the explanations of why. I'm going to simply just tell you which team I think will win. And, yeah, guys. So, our first game is FC Levida versus St. Joseph. So, you can see right, guys, it's Estonia versus um, Gibraltar. And, once again, I think I'm going to go with St. Joseph's. And, so, yeah, let me go ahead and check which team is playing which game. Okay, so I want to see that real quick. When did the leg... Um, so actually, okay, interesting. So F St. Joseph's, yeah, I think they're gonna win it because like some because they have the home leg second. And so yeah. Then Inter Turco versus um Puskas Ademi. I'm pretty sure that's um Finland versus Hungary. And I do believe Puskas is actually gonna win it. So yeah. And then Drita versus Desik. I think that's Kosovo versus Montenegro, right? Yep, that's Kosovo versus Montenegro. I think I'm gonna go with Adrit. I'm hold on. You know what? I'm gonna go with Drita. I'm gonna go with Dujer to progress. Sudova versus Valmaria. That's, I believe, is uh, Latvia versus Armenia. I w or no, no, it's Lithuania. Sorry, my guys. This is a tough one. I'm going to say Sudova actually make it through. Bika versus La Fiorita. Um, This is basically going to be um, Malta versus um, San Marino. I think the um, Bikaro will actually make it through, from my opinion. And you can see already one game has already taken place. One game has already taken place. You can see right here the level is right now 1 1 aggregate. So Santa Colombia, and by the way, guys, something I forgot to mention, guys, something I forgot to mention indeed, Um, I believe this will take an effect as well. The away goal rule is removed. Away goal rule is removed, so it doesn't matter about the away goals thing. I personally don't like that whatsoever, but, you know, it is what it is. So, yeah, that away goal thing is no longer in effect. So for me right now, you would still say Santa Coloma are probably in the driving seat here because they did get a draw away from home, and that basically, as long as they win at home, they're basically through to the next round. And they just have to win. As for Mons Calipe, they're probably in a very bad position right now because, like I said before, guys, they just equalized and almost lost at home. You know, so I'm gonna say Santa Colombia probably make it through. If I didn't know this result, I probably would have said them to make it through because it is a uh, Andorra versus Gibraltar. So I probably would have picked Andorra anyway. So yeah. 
Villas Monster, Monster versus Color Train. I think that's going to be, um, I think that's basically Bosnia Herzegovina. And I think that's going to be um, Northern Ireland, right? Yes, that's Northern Ireland. So I'm going to say Color Train makes them through. Then Domzale versus Swift Hesseper. Um, this is basically Luxembourg versus Slovenia or Slovakia. Slovenia, that's Slovenia. Okay. Um, I'm going to say Domzale make it through. Uh, Scoopy. Uh, versus Lippi, uh, yeah, that's an uh, um, interesting one. That's North Macedonia versus Kosovo. Um, I think I'm going to say Lippi makes it through. So how many matches have we done? Hmm, we still have a lot more matches to predict, guys. So, yeah, let me just, uh, I need to run through this quickly. So which ones have we done? Yeah. Okay, I think we just finished that one. Um, the Scoopy versus Leapy. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna go Leapy. Tripper versus Dynamo Batumi. Uh, is that okay? I'm gonna go Dynamo Batumi. Purchasing versus Srinad. Um, Strinfo Guri. I'm gonna go Strinfo Guri. Maribor versus Eurotra. Um, I'm gonna say Maribor makes it through. I believe that's Slovenia, if I'm not mistaken, from what I did. And I think it's Liechtenstein, right? No, 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 not Liechtenstein. I'm Armenia, so I'm gonna say that. And as you can see, right? Wow. A penalty. They won basically through a penalty. So because they won through a penalty the first leg, I mean, Montenegro, you probably expect them to make it through in the next round. It's against Albania. So, yeah, they just need a draw basically in the next round. Next leg. And the Missouri Ori versus Servatri. I'm going to say Missouri makes it through. They're from Moldova. And this is Bosnia. And then Noah versus Kups. I'm going to say Kups make it through. They're from Finland. Zona versus Dili Gori. I'm going to say Zil now makes it through. FH versus Silga Rovers. I, I believe it's Ireland. Um, so I'm going to say FH makes it through. That's a good one fixture, though. I think that can go either way. And then we basically have Poland versus Estonia. I'm going to say Slack will make it through. Rigas versus KI. I'm going to say K. Wait, actually, hold on. What country is that from? That is from Faroe Island. So I'm going to say Rigas make it through. Bali Town versus Lauren. I'm going to say Bali Town makes it through. Faroe versus Arnett. Yavran. Arya, Ariad, Yaravan, uh, I'm gonna say Freybar makes it through. Shirgada um, versus Gurgarga, I'm gonna say Shir, I'm gonna say Shir, makes this. Man, these names are so hard, so hard to pronounce. I'm gonna say Shirjiski makes it through. Silix versus Pedrib Hichesteini, I'm gonna say Silix make it through. Sirka versus Vizlani, I'm gonna say Siliki Bridgie makes it through. Sternad versus Voimans, I'm gonna say Sternad makes it through. Gonatron versus New Saint, the New Saints. I'm going to say the New Saints make it through. St. Julia versus Gersa United. I'm going to say St. Julia makes it through. Europa versus Karna is Algaris. I'm going to say Europa makes it through. Dundalag versus Newtown. I think Dundalag makes it through. And then Mostov versus Spartak Turinivet. What a game this is. 3 2, guys. Huge, huge result. Um, You can see 170 attendance there. Interesting. Um, Probably Mosta. I think I'm going to say Mosta. They seem like they're the better team. Malta versus uh, Slovenia, right? Slovakia, that is. So I'm going to say they make it through. Then Lepage versus Struga. I'm going to say Struga make it through. But Raising Luxembourg versus the Brook. Um, I'm going to say Brook makes it through. And Honka versus NC Ravok versus Honka. I'm going to say Honka makes it through. So you guys can see why right? there's so many fixtures to predict, guys. And yeah, guys, I do admit, guys, I do want to cover this stuff, like I said before, guys, you know, I think it's interesting to see how the qualification takes place for every single competition. I'll try to do that from this point on. And like I said before, guys, remember, guys, to comment and subscribe. Check out the description below my Twitter, Discord, and my email. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.